Recrystallization is a method that is used to purify organic materials from impurities. This technique video shows how to recrystallize acetylsalicylic acid that contains salicylamide impurities. Before beginning, pleat a filter paper for recrystallization. Take a piece of filter paper and fold it in half. Make a sharp crease. Open it up and turn it 90 degrees. Line up the pleats that you just made and make another sharp crease. Open it up. Line the pleats that you just made. That will give you your third crease. You will do it one more time. All the creases should line up and that should give you your four creases across the paper. Now turn it over and you will do the same thing on the other side, except that you will line and fill in the spaces between the pleats that you just made. Fold it in half, line the creases, and you will do that a total of four times with alternating creases. This will give you four pleats on each side. When you are done, you should be able to fold the pleats alternating until you have a tight, pleated paper that you can sit inside of your funnel. Place your crude material into a beaker. Add a small amount of water at room temperature and swirl. Notice that very little of it dissolves. Place the beaker on a hot plate. Heating the mixture until everything is dissolved ensures that the acetylsalicylic acid crystals release any trapped salicylamide into the solution. Some material may not dissolve when heated. It's always a good idea to filter the solution to remove any insoluble material. To filter, Place an Erlenmeyer flask that contains a small amount of the recrystallization solvent, in this instance water, onto a hot plate. Place the glass funnel with pleated filter paper on top of the ring clamp and into the Erlenmeyer flask. When the assembly is warm to the touch, pour the beaker of solution over the pleated filter paper and let it drip into the warm Erlenmeyer flask. By keeping the assembly warm, you will avoid the loss of any material due to early crystallization. After all of the solution has been filtered into the Erlenmeyer flask, transfer the flask to an ice bath. Since the compound was not soluble in the initial volume of room temperature liquid, but has been forced into solution by elevated temperatures, the solution is said to be supersaturated. It cannot hold any more compound. Crystals need a surface to grow from. Glass often prevents this due to its smooth surface. To generate pure crystals, you must seed the supersaturated solution. There are two methods for seeding. Adding a pure crystal of the desired compound with a spatula, or scratching the bottom of the glass vessel with a glass stir rod. Be gentle when scraping. Glass rods are fragile and may break and cut your hands. Since crystal formation generally excludes unlike molecules, or molecules that are still solvated, this process greatly removes any residual salicylamide present in the initial crystalline material. Once the desired acetylsalicylic acid has precipitated out of the solution, it can be removed via vacuum filtration.